on the airtime. Can we like have a, a nice music to start the show with? Like it's a, all nice. positive, like it's all gonna work out. It's as nice as can be. It's all just gonna be okay and we don't have to be afraid anymore. And we can, you know, we can we can make plans because we have a future, you know? And that it's not just, you know, we're not gonna be hiding and hunting rabbits in Dolores Park, you know, huddling in the frozen muck for warmth. I think I have another side note. Uh, we haven't even had the first question yet. Uh, it seems I just wanted nice music to start the show with. Pete lost his laser. As you see it? Is Whoa, it there? Cool. Where is it? I can't see it. Wait a minute. Hey. Be careful about doing that. Uh, no. Sometimes it's young, if you're watching a man in his 50s <laughs> crawl around on the ground like a cat. Sometimes canine you want, Americans. You want another whippet? And now Pete has his laser, the lark is on the wing, the snail's on the thorn, God's in his heaven, all's right with the world, and I am tanned, ready, and rested, though not with the melatonin, to begin the answering of the incisive interrogations. Oh, and it's been worth the wait, Al, I'll tell you. Preferred by our inquisitive audience. Here we go, our first question of the night. I am ready. Yeah. Okay, um, how do I know the refrigerator light goes out when I close the door? Aren't you glad that we all gathered around tonight to have this answer here? Aren't you glad that there's a mechanism that exists in your civic apparatus to take care of questions like this? Of course, one very dangerous way which we ask Dr. Halshow does not recommend to find out whether or not the light continues when the door is closed is to get inside and have someone, a trusted confederate, seal you in, like into Pharaoh's tomb. Yeah, and let's hope they don't go, get stoned and wander away, because that would but, 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 be the end. There are two things which have to be considered. One is faith, and one is reason. Faith is that it will work as it is supposed to. Reason is that there is no reason to build anything that wouldn't work into the operating mechanism. When one can be determined, then perhaps this becomes a more plausible hypothesis. How much money does the average registered sexologist typically earn? More than I'll ever see in my life. Sexologists? Yes, they uh, are uh, draining off this uh, torrent of uh, cash from those who should know better. If they would only be more loving to each other, they could avoid paying the middleman. In some way, this is like the health insurance crisis, which now plagues the American body politic, where the entire inflation of the cost is caused by an unnecessary person. But many are hesitant, timid, and timorous. And they need some third party to encourage them on what they probably would eventually decide to do anyway. And though I say eventually, life is short, and maybe they would dither forever, never get around to it, and be an affront not only to Venus, the celestial spirit of domestic love, but to Job. Given the importance of social skills to the development of a happy childhood, oh, yeah. at what age should I begin teaching my daughter to box? Hard? To box, eh? I suppose you mean as in pugilism, the manly art of self-defense, rather than to enclose things in protective containers or structures. This last would be more useful. One would even be enclosed one's self in a protective structure and thus obviate the need for sparring. And yet, if one does teach the rules of pugilism, one must keep in mind the Marquis of uh, Queensbury, who, despite his unpardonable behavior to Oscar Wilde, evolved the rules which still largely govern the sport today. If you really think that this is useful, <laughs> make sure that your daughter also feels enjoyment and feels your enjoyment. Because if it feels punitive to you, so it will to her. And the only boxing will be that invisible cube in which you have inadvertently enclosed <laughs> Dr. Howe. Yeah? 
Has anyone ever been smart founded? Why? Sure. Um, like, uh, you could say that dumb founding and smart founding are the same thing. Because when one is dumbfounded, one is not rendered dumb in the sense of stupidity, but dumb in the sense of speechless, overwhelmed by a great idea. So it was when Archimedes of Kos had his great insight about water displacement while taking a bath, leaping from the tub, he ran naked through the streets of ancient Athens, shrieking, Eureka, Eureka, which translated to the Greek means, I found it, meaning the, uh, the solution. But uh, that is the solution of the problem, not a watery uh, solution. But um, one is smart founded, if one is to coin this word, when one comes on an insight, an unusual insight, like Archimedes, uh, like Einstein, like anybody, like uh, Rick and Judson and Gideon Sunbeck inventing the zipper, which I detailed at several shows ago. Any idea that seems to come out of nowhere actually is a synthesis of other ideas and perceptions. And when it occurs, when it comes to flower, a feeling of exhilaration may be felt. Indeed, it might be argued that some people discover simply to receive this pleasure rather than to uh, receive at some future time any practical or pragmatic benefit of the original discovery. Well, uh, unfortunately, there aren't really any good questions in here, but uh, well, let's do this uh, one next. All right, we have a next question. Okay. I do. As good as I can do. Don't pay any attention to me. Uh, I love it. Now, let's, let's go ahead. Here we go. Why do my friends always correct me when I confuse Star Trek with Star Wars? Aren't they basically the same thing? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Wow, you're really asking for it, huh? Most of them Of course, they both work for the same shop, the so-called Federation. Yes, the future is federal, according to both of uh, of these shows, except in Star Wars. Supposedly, there is a, a movement against it, but. Uh, the reason people snap out with this correction is either that they are passionately concerned about the right thing being brought into life and irritated with sloppiness and uh, the general confusion which they feel they can ameliorate with just this one particular correction or the subject itself is so irritating that in order to shut the person up they slam out the corrective answer, in a hope, probably vain, that the subject will be at least temporarily exhausted. How about a shot for next so we can get a look at the... God damn it! Well, God damn it! What's wrong people. with you? I know many people. They cannot... You leave off all talking about Star Wars and Star Trek, particularly Star Trek. They tend to talk more about Star Trek than uh, refer to episode... You're supposed to, to follow them. It's all like a social solitism. It's very difficult. All right, let's speed on. Are you guys smoking enough pot over there? I don't think so. Are you guys? They are just smoking the pot over here. You know. Uh, you really ask me like what the difference between Star Trek and Star Wars is? You guys are like, you guys are like textbook. <laughs> <laughs> One either likes the taste of it and drinks deeply of that draft or avoids it entirely. And perhaps we should just to continue with our show. Well, actually, I'm going to, before we continue with the show, I just kind of, I really, I'm thinking, I'm kind of, I think that that was the last straw for the smoke pot guys to, to for the smoke pot guys to bring up the debate between Star Trek and Star Wars. You guys have got a lot of nerve. You they know? want their own subject matter to be treated on this show, and that is understandable. You know, I think that um, you know, you guys have been coming here for a long time. You know, smoking pot. You know, and trying to get shots of Fernet and. Laughing at inappropriate things. <laughs> but you know, we really object. We're happy that you or anybody else comes to well, ask Dr. Halsey. I just I aren't think, we chicken? Well, 
do it to a point. You know, we can't be bought. I think it's time for the smoke pot, guys. Oh, look at you, uh, have their own box seats here at the Ask Dr. Hal show. Ladies and gentlemen, what happened to Pete Goldie? Oh, he's uh, lurking about, and uh, here, as uh, you will soon know by the cacophonous fanfare, he yeah. about to play. Uh, what are you doing? We're unveiling this. Did you smoke pot too? Creation of Jack and John uh, What's production. What's wrong with you? Uh, it is something which has been specially crafted with the smoke pot guys in mind. What? What are you doing? He's pulling the curtain. You pull the curtain, Fred.